Thomas Brophy. Well, so what if I am? Suppose that I stumble from bar to bar, and from drink to drink, till I sprawl at last on the lice-infested mattress of this brothel. Suppose that I, in order to make this nightmare bearable, for as long as I must continue to be the helpless protagonist of it, suppose that I ornament, illuminate, and glorify it with dreams and fictions and fantasies such as the existence of a 780-page masterpiece, pending Broadway productions, marvelous volumes of verse in the hands of publishers only waiting for signatures to release them. Suppose I live in this world of pitiful fiction. What satisfaction can it give you, good woman, to tear it to pieces, to crush it, call it a lie? I tell you this, now listen. There are no lies, but the lies that are stuffed in the mouth by the hard knuckle hand of need. The cold iron fist of necessity, Mrs. Wire. So I am a liar, yes. Oh, but your world, your world is a hideous fabrication of lies. Lies, lies. Now, I'm tired, and I have no money to give you, and I've said all I'm going to say. So get out and leave this woman in peace. Just go on, get away, leave her alone. This 